<clears throat> so, y'all think Foxy Brown going to testify? Do y'all think the Brown Fox is about to cooperate with law enforcement? What you think? That's what they're saying. They're saying that, um, they're not saying that she's going to, but they're saying that she could be, they're saying um, that she could place Keefe D at the situation of the situation. Y'all heard? Has everybody heard? Right? In the whole Diddy situation, you know what I mean? They're trying to tie Diddy to Tupac's. You know what I mean? And Keefe D has been a, who has been saying that he's he who's been saying this for the past I don't know for wild years has been saying that he was in the car and so on and so forth and blah 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 is now saying that none of that was true. He was just you know what I'm saying trying to sell a book. I mean you know just trying to. Whatever. He was clout chasing, as the kids say. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so they're saying that they're going to, you know, Foxy Brown can place him in Vegas. Because he's saying he wasn't even in Vegas when on the night of Tupac's situation. You know what I mean? And, <clears throat> and welcome to the nation, y'all. What up? Monster Nation, that is. I'm your president, your host, and your tour guide, Mr. Monster Man Rocco, aka the Rock Miss Monsters. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and leave a super a super thanks too if you want to be a you know tax paying citizen and all of that, <clears throat> or a cash app. The the tag will be in the description. But um, back to what I'm saying, like. They're saying Foxy Brown can place him at the at the spot and in in Vegas or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't really want to get into all of that. I mean, like, this is all way too I mean, I'm already into it. Like I'm just saying. I don't want to get into all of those details. But I'm just saying, like, my question is Is Foxy Brown about to cooperate with law enforcement. And if she does, does hip hop have a problem with it? Or the community? I don't like this. It's not that I don't like, let me tell you what I don't like about it. I feel like if it was any, like this has been what? Tupac, this all happened in 96? That's almost 30 years ago, right? If it was any other random, I'm, I'm 50, Fox is probably 48, 49, something like that, right? If it was any other, any other 48, 49 year old, nobody would have no problem with her jumping on the stand and testifying. But because it's Foxy Brown, I feel like some of y'all are going to hold it against her. And Foxy Brown ain't in the street no more, as far as I know, B. Like, like I don't know her, but I know her I know one of her brothers. You know what I'm saying? Not well, but son is a cool dude. And as far as I know, and and I'm a wild big fan of the, the Brown Fox, just so y'all know. So I'm bothered by the fact that she 
she's now in this, like her name has come up in all of this, right? And now it's like, like she might be placed in a situation, you know what I'm saying? A dynamic that's, I don't feel like she deserve. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we older <laughs> than the motherfucker, right? And, you know, I mean, like, the laws are, the, you know, the, the, the quote-unquote rules, street rules that, you know, the, 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 the policies around testifying and cooperating with law enforcement or wh whichever it is they're expecting her to do, right? The, you know, the philosophies around that are, you know, have been skewed, but they still, when it come down to this, the internet, everybody's an expert and everybody's a gangster. Meanwhile, ain't nobody an expert and ain't nobody a gangster, right? But they in here typing in the comments, talking, they gonna be in here talking about somebody crazy. They gonna be talking crazy about somebody damn near 50, helping you know, participating in closing the book on a 28-year-old story. You understand what I'm saying? Or closing the book, so to speak. But, you know, we all, who everybody, all of the, I mean, like, street dudes and all of that, like, dudes from all dynamics of, of black culture, hip-hop culture, have, have, have at some point spoke up, spoke to the ridiculousness of Tupac's situation not being solved, right? I say that to say that we all whether like whether niggas is gangsters, whether niggas is 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 squares or what or in anything in between people on every side of that have said that it don't make no sense that this hasn't been solved or whatever. And 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 we see it as a slap in the face to our culture, period. All of us, right? So, even if you if you a gangster and you feel that way, you expecting somebody to say something. You understand what I'm saying? Are we gonna hold it against Foxy if it's her? I mean, ain't nobody holding nothing against nobody so far. Can we not do that to Foxy if she if if you know what I'm saying? This is my request to y'all. I mean, I mean, I know what I'm just saying, B. I'm still listen. If Foxy, if Foxy was still in these streets, hanging and banging and thugging and mugging and all of that, then I guess yes. But I don't, I don't see that. I, ain't, I ain't heard that. I ain't heard that. I still live in, I still live in New York too. I mean, like. I ain't heard that. I mean, yeah, B. So what say you? Y'all gonna call all kind of names? If people call all kind of names, what y'all think about that? You know what I mean? Um, said did he never pay niggas the bread for that situation? Howard University said he never paid them they bread. They clipped him. I mean, they didn't clip him because of that, but they clipped him. I mean, it's interesting. If you made it to the end of this video, um, let me get three eye. Let me get four sets of eyeballs. Cause I'm gonna be watching this right now. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah, let me know your opinion on this situation. Oh, I got new music on the way right now. Slang and Rock Volume 2 will be out with probably in a couple of weeks. Um, Crown Zero, the album with me and my brother Rusty Jux. That'll be out. Well, I can't, I don't have a date on that, but it's finished though. You know, we, we're working, we working out the particulars. This will be a release on all streaming platforms. You know what I mean? Slang and Rock Volume 2 will be on 
my band camp. The, the link will be in the description and all that. And a whole host of other joints. Question, is my, do I sound better? I got a new phone. I got a new phone. People been complaining about my audio, you understand what I'm saying? I've been telling y'all I'm gonna fix it, you understand what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments if I sound better. All right, also, Rockin' Out West and, and, and Shell Shot are about to be available on my band camp as well. You heard? Rock on, rock, I'm gone.